Hello. Thanks for your interest. In this video I present to you small but great sounding horn type speakers. With a height of 250 mm, a width of 100 mm and a depth of 130 mm. To make it, I use 10 mm birch plywood, which has very good acoustic properties. I use a laser engraver Atezer L236W to cut the individual elements to assemble the speakers. All elements are drawn on a computer program and cut with a laser. Here you can see how the laser works, cutting the individual elements. Easy and quick, no special carpentry tools needed. All elements are different to be able to build the smooth transition from the acoustic box to the mouth of the horn. These are all the elements of the speakers. I smooth and round the edges. I clean the black scum from the laser operation. If you don't have the tool I use, you can also work with a file, which is a little slower and more laborious. I use an orbital sander to clean and align the individual elements. I glue the elements following the sequence. I also put four studs in the specially made holes. They serve to align the elements with each other. I use wood glue, which turns clear once it dries. I fasten with carpenter's staples for a tighter fit of the elements. Like the glue that is in excess, I just wipe it with a damp cloth, not wet. I assemble all the elements, including the front and back cover, clamp them with a carpenter's clamp.
At this point, the outside of the speakers should be cleaned and aligned. I slowly and carefully shape the location of the tweeter. I use a vibration sander with sandpaper up to number 400, finer is not necessary. I also put in manual labor, with a wooden pad and sandpaper to make the perfect shape of the speaker. I take the lower part of the speakers and paint the area of the tweeter with matte black. Then I apply clear varnish 3 to 4 times to achieve the required effect. I stick rubber feet on the speakers. The speakers I use are Broadband speaker, Onkyo Supersound X20 Impedance 5 Ohm Power RMS 7.5 W. High frequency. Nakamichi SPT-13 impedance. 4 ohm power RMS. 10 W. I put the cable that goes through the hole purposely made for this purpose. I installed a mid-range speaker, with the ceiling tape pre-applied. I roll in screws and fasten with the necessary force. I apply sealing tape before placing the front panel. I put cotton wool for speakers. I place the front panel and fasten with special screws. I fill the holes with warm silicone. I put the base on the tweeter and fasten it with screws. I also place the speaker itself, with the cable passing through the specially made hole. On the back side, I put the filter on the tweeter, gluing it with warm silicone.
On the back panel, in a specially made channel, I put a tube in which the cables will be placed. Its purpose is to protect the cables and more importantly, to seal the speakers. I glue the batting to the back panel as well. I also stick a sealing tape. I pass the cables through the hose. From the lower end they can be pulled until the required effect is obtained. I place the back panel and screw in until it seals well. I solder and fasten the socket for connecting to the amplifier, also with screws. This is the end result, small, beautiful and good sounding speakers. And let's hear the sound. 